Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which, which you partake, partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings, sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, he gave, gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech, beseech you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace into our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise, Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, whoever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. 
by, by the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is right incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence and the witness of our words and works and the consecration of our lives to holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will of God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday in the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods he holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well he made the sea it belongs to him the dry land too for it was formed by his hands come into the lord's presence singing for joy come then let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are his people the flock he shepherds Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenge me and provoke me, although they have seen all of my works. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Forty years I endured a generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray. And they do not know my ways, so I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Please be seated. Stir up your mighty power, Lord, come to our aid. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. 
Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears of their bread, and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies love us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river, it stretched out its roots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is blocked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the men you have chosen, the men you have given your strength. And we shall never forsake you again. Give us the life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation, and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise the song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon when moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule in Joseph, when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, at the waters of Meribah I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning, O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart, to follow their own designs. O oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with the finest wheat, and fill them with the honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please so stand. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, 
keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, from the day we heard about you, we did not cease praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will. Through all spiritual wisdom and understanding, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, so as to be fully pleasing in every good work bearing fruit and growing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with every power in accord with this glorious might for all endurance and patience, with joy giving thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord. All you lands, break into songs, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of a horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Please so stand. After me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord while the crowd was pressing in on jesus and listening to the word of god he was standing by the lake of genezaret he saw two boats there along the lake the fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. 
When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at his knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Hindi po tinutuldukan o tinatapos ng kabiguan ang kwento ng ating buhay sa mga taong umaasa sa Panginoong Diyos, ang dulo po ng kanilang buhay ay tagumpay. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Kristo, kung kayo po ay mag apply ng trabaho sa malalaking institusyon sa ating lipunan, ang kalampung titingnan ay yung inyong expertise. Titingnan kung saan kayo magaling. Titingnan po nila ang inyong specialization. Titingnan po nila ang inyong competencies. Mahanapin nila lahat yan. Sinasabing sa panahon ngayon, ang mga tao'y pwedeng sabihin na mas matatalino. Pwede nating sabihin na compared to the centuries before, ang mga tao doon ngayon ay mas magaling. Marami nagsasabi na when it comes to survival, we are better organized sa ating panahon ngayon. Kung meron kayong smartphone at meron kayong gustong malaman, i-google nyo lang, nanduro na, masasagot na. Sabi nga ng aking isang kaibigan, Aba, sa pamagitan ng smartphone, pwede ka na makapag-doctorate. Kung ikaw ay mag-a-apply sa isang malaking institusyon, sa isang malaking institusyon sa ating lipunan ngayon, huwaring hindi sapat na meron ka lang college degree. Mas maganda kung gusto mong umangat sa posisyon, magkaroon ka dapat ng masteral degree or even doctorate degree. Pero sa kabila ng sinasabi na matatalino ang tao ngayon, Sinasabi pa rin na we are far from perfect. Marami pa rin tayong pagkukulang. Kung meron bang isang leksyon na pwede nating matutunan sa panahon ng pandemia, ang sabi ni Pope Francis ay ito, na ang pandemic ay ibinulgar sa buong mundo ang loophole sa ating buhay na kita ang ating vulnerabilities Nakita ang iba't ibang klase ng ating kahinaan. Nakita kung ano ang ating pagpapahalaga. Higit sa lahat, nabatid natin na we are not in control. Hindi natin kontrol ang ating buhay. Ang lipunan, wala palang kontrol sa buhay nito. Nagkakagulo pa rin tayo pagkalipas ng isang taon. At kitang-kita natin yan sa galaw ng iba't ibang sektor ng ating lipunan, waring tayo ay bigo. Paano po natin haharapin ang ating kabiguan? Pwede po tayong matuto kay Simon Pedro sa ating Ibanghelyo. Magdamag po siyang nangisda kasama ibang mga alagad. At nung umaga na, bah, wala pa rin po siyang nahuhuling isda. 
pwede nating sabihin na bigo siya. Kung meron man sigurong napakahusay sa pangisda, na ng iba kung hindi si Pedro, sapagkat yun ang kanyang hanap buhay. Alam niya ang teknik kung paano mangisda. Alam niya kung saan iyahagis ang lambat. Alam niya kung anong oras nanduro ng isda. Pwede nating sabihin, si Pedro siguro may honorary degree. May doctorate siya on fishing. Pero bigo si Pedro. Wala siyang nahuli. Ano kaya ang pakiramdam ng taong bigo? Dahil wala siyang nahuling isda, wala siyang maibibenta sa palengke. Dahil wala siyang nahuling isda, wala siyang madadalang pagkain sa kanyang pamilya. Siya'y magugutong. Pero dumating ang isang karpintero, ang ating Panginoong Kristo At nagsabi kay Pedro, pumalaot ka pa doon sa malalim, sige pa pumunta ka pa ron. At doon mo ihulog ang iyong lambat. Ano pong ginawa ni Pedro? Pwede po sana na magdahilan siya. Nako, Panginoong Yesus, eh magdamag na kaming nangisda. Wala kaming nahuli. Pwede siyang gumawa ng maraming excuses sa buhay nito. At pwede niyong sabihin, ayaw ako na. Bigo na kaming magdamag. Pwede niyong sabihin na, dako, doon sa laot, doon sa mas malalim, may mapanganid sapagkat ang bangka namin ay maliit lamang. Yung pumapalaot sa malayo, para lang sa malaking bangka yun. Pero yung sabihin na nakatakot doon sa laot kasi malalaki na ang alon doon. Ay malamig doon, kami giniginaw na. Higit sa lahat, pwede niyang sabihin, ako ang mahangisda kay karpintero, mas marunong ako sa inyo. Pero hindi po ganun ang sinabi ni Pedro. Sa kabiguan, ang sabi niya, dahil sinabi ng Panginoon, susunod ako. Nilunok niya yung kanyang pride at sa harapan ng Panginoong Diyos, siya'y nagpakumbaba. Ano po ang mga excuses natin sa buhay nito kung tayo nakakaranas ng kabiguan? At waring ayaw na nating magpatuloy pa. Marahil po marami tayong pwedeng ibigay na dahilan. Pero sa harapan ng Panginoong Diyos, ang Panginoong Diyos po ay hindi sumusuko sa atin. Patuloy niyang sinasabing, sige pa, laot pa, punta ka pa doon sa mas malalim. At nagulat ang mga alagad sapagkat napakaraming isda ang kanilang nahuli. At dahil dito, na-realize ni Pedro ang kanyang kakulangan. Hindi pala ako ang marunong. Hindi pala ako mayroong doctorate sa pangisda. Kahit na ako'y napaka-experto na sa gawain nito, malaki pa rin ang aking pagkukulang. Marami pa rin akong matututunan. Kaya ang sabi niya sa ating Panginoong Yesus, lumayo ka Panginoon. Hindi ako karapat dapat. Ako'y isang makasalanan. Sa harapan po ng ating Panginoong Diyos, pababatid natin ang ating kahinaan. Sa harapan po ng Panginoong Diyos, makikita natin na tayo maraming pagkukulang. Sa harapan po ng Panginoong Diyos, makikita natin na tayo makasalanan, na tayo hindi karapat dapat. Bagamat hindi karapat dapat si Simon Pedro, ang tinatawag ng Panginoong Diyos ay hindi naman yung mga taong karapat dapat. Hindi yung mga worthy, kung hindi yung mga taong willing. At ganun si Pedro, willing siya. Handa siyang sumunod sa pinag-uutos ng ating Panginoon. At sa bandang huli, bagamat marami din silang huli, masagana, may bebenta na sa palengke, abay, ang panawagan ng ating Panginoong Sokristo ay ganito, Sumunod kayo sa akin, iwanan ninyo ang inyong lambat at gagawin ko kayo mula ngayon na mangisda ng mga tao. Nung stable na ang kanyang kalagayan, masagana na, tinatawagan pa siya ng ating Panginoong Sokristo na iwanan yung kasaganaan, yung kanyang nahuli. 
Napakahirap na naman ng ganong bagay, hindi po ba? Merong isang naghalimbawa ng ganito. Sabi niya, excuse me po sa example, may isang taong laging tumataya. Tumataya ng loto. Tabay, hindi na nanalo. Pero sa bandang huli, nanalo rin. At milyon-milyon ang kanyang pera. At nung siya'y nanalo na, ang sabi sa kanya, iwanan mo yung panalo mo na yan at sumunod ka sa akin. Napakahirap, hindi po ba? Nanalo ka na eh. Pagkatapos, pa iwanan pa sa'yo. Subalit sumunod ang mga alagad. Sumunod sila sapagkat sila'y nagtitiwala sa Panginoon na kung ang Panginoong Diyos may dating ginawang mabuti sa kanila, pagamat hindi nila alam ang hinaharap, alam nila sila nagtitiwala na meron pang mas magandang bagay na hindi ang Panginoong Diyos para sa kanila at sila'y sumunod. Hindi lang po tayo inaanyayahan na magtiwala sa Panginoong Diyos. Lahat po tayo patuloy na inaanyayahan na sumunod sa Kanya. Bagamat mayroong mga kabiguan sa buhay nito, pero hindi po tinatapos o tinutuldukan ng kabiguan ang kwento ng ating buhay sa mga taong umaasa sa Diyos, sa mga taong sumusunod sa Kanya, nagtatapos po ang kwento ng buhay sa tagumpay. Maging ang huling kalaban, ang huling kabiguan na kamatayan ay pinagtagumpayan ng Panginoong Diyos. Katulad ng ating Panginoong Sokristo na muling nabuhay, tayo rin pong lahat na sumusunod sa ating Panginoong Sokristo ay makakaasa ng tagumpay sa dulo ng buhay natin. Please all stand. When our Savior says, Come, follow me, He also calls us to follow His example of prayer, to throw wide a net of prayer for others. Let us pray in that generous way that our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and all who have been called to be fishers of men, may have the courage and perseverance to cast their nets in deep waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That fishermen and all those who work at sea may have the harvest of God's bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the courage to tell unbelievers the good news of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the lives of the sick, the sorrowing, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, for our parents, relatives, and friends, and for those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry, at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may receive their eternal reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. For our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of all people, through these prayers, gather together the lives of those seeking to follow your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. So stand. Let the Savior's command and form the divine teaching we dare to say. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And it is not temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and basically grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Peace new. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please all stand. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from an high shall break upon us to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give, Give your, your people knowledge of salvation, salvation Lord, and, and forgive, forgive us our sins. sins. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 3, 2021, the first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on Sept September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one of us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org at Online Pamisa, where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please so stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag sa inyong pong pag-iisa sa ating badal na visa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the Blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our helps in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sheer sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>